Hey designers, my name is Risa Eldon and I'm here on behalf of Ivy to teach you how to leverage our technology to manage your business even more efficiently. Ivy is based in the cloud, so what that means is you don't have to download anything to your computer. We even have a mobile app for your iPhone or whatever phone you have so you can access Ivy on the go. Ivy is a community and business management tool used meant to help you streamline all of the invoicing, time tracking, product sourcing, scheduling facets of your business because we know that you're doing 10 different things at one time and we really want to help you use our software to feel more organized and to make more money and drive your top line. So what you can see here is our dashboard and this is your main dashboard. So you can see project revenues, hours billed, markup revenue, fees for hours billed, upcoming to do's and any open invoices. So the first thing I hear designers complain about the most is keeping track of time one of the most annoying things for designers, right? So what you can do with Ivy is you can actually track your time on the go. You can select the project that you're working on and then select the service that you're providing. You can log different service rates and it will host and save that hourly rate in the system so you don't have to add it every time. And then you can add in a client description. You can mark it taxable, not taxable, billable, not billable. Of course, we know designers run their businesses differently. Not all designers track time by the hour, but you might wanna have a running log of all the hours you worked in case you ever get audited or anything like that. And you can just turn the timer on and it will keep track of your hours. Now, when it comes time to create your invoice. I hear so many designers say, I was up till two o'clock in the morning. I don't have time to do invoicing. I'm making human errors. So that's why we really believe it makes sense to leverage technology. So when I'm ready to send out this invoice, I can select this button over here. It will allow me to grab all uninvoiced time and then I can go ahead and generate an invoice. And then I can save and send that directly to my client through the system. Now you can take online payment, credit card, bank transfer. Credit card, the processing fee is 3%. Bank transfer, the processing fee is 1.2%. And with that said, most designers will roll that cost somewhere into their invoice or you can charge the client the transaction fee. It's totally up to you. Um, and how you wanna manage your business. You can always preview this invoice before you send it out to your client. It looks very professional. It's a branded document, has your logo, all of the information. You can add attachments and your client can even see their dashboard so they can see all of their open invoices or paid invoices. And then once they pay you, the money will go into your bank account really fast and the, then you're done. So it definitely saves you a lot of time and helps you focus on the things that are really going to make you money, okay? Other things that are amazing features within Ivy is our product clipper. So if I go into a project and I'm specifying for this project, I'm saving links all over the place, we developed a tool called our Ivy product clipper. It's an extension that nests on your browser right here and it allows you to clip the product directly from the vendor's website. You can categorize it, you can add a cost and a markup. Let's say I want this to say my total cost is $2,000 and it will tell me what to mark it up at. You can import your existing vendor list into your IV account, which saves a lot of time. And here, if I have a new vendor, you can of course add that in as well. And then I can add a description. I can even add a vendor description and I can add it to this project that I'm working on. And then I can add the full product specifications. Of course, the client will see what the client needs to see. The vendor will see what the vendor needs to see. So your client won't see any of this information that is proprietary to your vendor. And you can save this product. So now I have this, it saves into my IV product library. 
And if I go into the project right here, you can see all of the details of this project. And I can click create new proposal. And my chair will pop up right here. Now I can just click it and the item will fall onto my proposal. And then I can scope around and look at all of the products that I have in my library right here. I can type in sofa and all of my sofas will pop up. Maybe I want to add a service item on here as well. I can do that. And you can also group items together. So if I click save right here, it will allow me to really hone in on this proposal and make it exactly how I want it to look for my client. So let's say that I have chair shipping, this item, and this. these are all components of this one leopard chair. So I could call it leopard chair. I could add my own custom item here and I could group it together. So now my client would see it as one line item. I can allow my client to approve this proposal by line item. And if I want to, I can allow my client to see the markup percentage of this item if you want to be transparent with your client. Totally up to you. And then I can also, when I send this out to my client, I can, before I send it out, this is my favorite part, click this little eyeball. It will tell you your total cost, total markup, total shipping, so that there are no human errors because that is something that can happen in this business. There's a lot of moving parts. It gives you a double check. You can have default memos on your proposals. You can add document tags as well to your proposal so you can easily find it. And then the best part is you can generate custom tear sheets. So I can click right here, view tear sheets. So now you have your presentation for your client as well. Everything is done in one place and it really will streamline the process from start to finish for you. You can print these out. You can add attachments if you have a sketch or a drawing or maybe you wanna add your contract or any items that you wanna add. So when your client receives this proposal, they'll get everything in one package. And then I can go ahead, send it out to my client. Once I get paid, then I can go ahead and create my purchase order that I can send directly to my vendor through the system. And this is what the purchase order looks like. And trust me, vendors love to receive purchase orders through Ivy. It again, keeps the everything so easy and streamlined for them because if they keep getting these emails and they have different one-offs and different fabrics, it is going to lead to more potential errors in the procurement process. So I have my purchase order here with all of the details. I can go ahead, send it to my vendor, can add an attachment. I can even add in the estimated ship date. And when I do that, everything will fall onto a project calendar. So I go to my schedule tab. I can see right here when this item is going to ship. I can see items that have been completed. I can also go over to my project tracker and I can see all of these items. This is your the Bible of your project, right? All of these items I can select by, maybe I just wanna see products that have been approved. And I can see all of the details right here if I just click view. I can see all the accounting, I can see all the scheduling information, I can fill this in right here with all of the good details. I can add a tracking number, I can assign it to somebody on my team, I can add notes. Um, vendor said item was delayed, so you just log it in right here so everybody knows what's happening with this item. So when it comes time for install, everybody's on the same page. And you can add up to five of your own custom columns here as well. And then you can go ahead and download an FF&E schedule. You can select which items you want to export as well. And this will save you so much time. This will save you time when it comes to receiving and delivering the item. And then your warehouse knows what's coming in, what the dates are, there's an image next to it. You can add a room so when the guys are delivering to your client's home, they know what room to put it in. This helps you keep super organized. You also have the option to export it as an Excel file as well. Totally up to you. 
And then you also within a project have the ability to save everything to your attachments folder. So maybe I want to upload for floor plans or something like that or video footage from the first walkthrough. You can go ahead, save that item and save it into the project. So everything stays in one place. You can easily access it. You can use IV to manage and log all of your credits and retainers. If you take an upfront, you know, $50,000 retainer from your client, log it here, categorize it as a retainer. So we know it's uncategorized income until you actually use that because it might be for product or it might be for hours you worked, whatever you, however you create your retainers. And then if something needs to be returned or refunded, you can also log all of that within IV here. My favorite feature is that if you're coming from another system or using QuickBooks on top of Ivy and you already have all of your clients saved in QuickBooks, you can easily export those clients out of QuickBooks and import them directly into your IV account. And same thing, if you're just using IV and you want to export this and import it into another system for holiday cards or send out an email from your email, you can have all of the information easily exported through IV as well. And then you also can import your vendors, which I particularly love saving all of my vendor information here. It allows you to save your vendor username and password as well. It allows you to save vendor tags. So if I can't remember, oh, what's that vendor? Um, let's see if I have it saved. Um, that does window coverings. I could type it in and then all my window covering vendors would pop up right here. Super helpful. I think that anything that saves even two minutes of time will help you stay focused on your goal really and making more time for design and doing the things that you know are actually going to bring you in that revenue. So same thing with products. So many times you see so many things that you love that might not be right for the project right away, but maybe in six months that perfect client comes and that perfect $8,000 nightstand, that is the right one for them. Okay. So log everything into your Ivy account, clip it, save it, log it appropriately so you can find it. And then you have a beautiful library of all of your products and services, making it that much faster to create that proposal for the client when it comes time to create that proposal. Other things that I love within Ivy, you can easily pull reports for transactions, project payments, purchase order, time billing, expenses, sales tax liability. You'll just select the time period that you want, the project that you want right here, and then you can export that report. In terms of Ivy, we do integrate with QuickBooks Online. It's a one-way sync from Ivy to QuickBooks Online. We recommend the plus version, which will allow your POs to sync over. So when you're setting up your Ivy account, you can go ahead and put in your logo, put in all your company information, and this is where you can set up your QuickBooks integration. Again, we may want you to review this video before you integrate to make sure your chart of accounts are all set up correctly. We have a QuickBooks expert that's happy to chat with you. And again, just know that you can use ID as a standalone software. You don't have to integrate with QuickBooks, but um, if you do want to see a detailed profit and loss report, that would be one good reason to sync up with QuickBooks on the back end. Other things you can do in your account, you can set up your banking. So if you want to receive online payments, this is where you would do so. You can add team members right here and you can even set the permissions of what they can or can't see within your IV account. Super helpful. This is where you can set up your sales tax rates and all of your settings for your account. So your default project memos, your default project emails, all of your project settings and all of your email settings. You can even have IV send automatic reminders for past due payments. So I like to set it for two weeks after the due date. So you don't have to remember to nudge your client. Ivy will do it for you. And then this is where you can add your, um, you know, all of your custom field settings right here as well. You can add, I believe, up to five custom fields that are visible and editable on the project tracker for each line item. So that's super helpful. Beyond just Ivy as a software, we really believe in the power of community. We, you get access to our private Facebook group through your Ivy account. 
this is a true knowledge exchange. People are sharing their contracts with each other, sharing branded templates, sharing vendors, everything and anything you can imagine. We really believe in community over competition. We also give you access to our Discover section, which is our curated network of service providers. So if you need a bookkeeper or you need a web designer or you need somebody to do 3D renderings, you can make contact with any of these um, service providers here through our system. And this is a good time for you to think about outsourcing, outsourcing, and this will help you make more money. One last thing I want to leave you with is our industry webinars. Every Wednesday, we host an industry webinar. We'll, we'll, we'll bring in a top-of-the-line business coach or uh, an attorney that deals with contracts and knows everything you should have in your interior design contract. So stay tuned for our webinars. We are bringing the content to you to, again, help you rethink your business. And we look forward to you joining the Ivy community. Thank you so much.